Solids. I just made a posted a video with dodecahedron, and we have icosahedron, another one, icosahedron, twenty sided, octahedron, tetrahedron, and the cube. And we'll do a cube this time. And so, uh, as well, sort of show. So, if you have a set square, it doesn't matter. We're going to do it at 45 uh, degree construction line to begin with. So, you can just guesstimate it. Uh, and the reason for that, I'll explain. And set our compass, that will do a circle. Make sure, yep. Okay, so uh, this is basically going to set the the size of our of our cube, and the reasons for it being at an angle I'll show in a moment. Now, reset your compass to the diameter of the circle. And you just we're just going to bisect this line, but I'm going to draw the whole. Uh, vesica because there's some interesting connections to uh, religious symbolism especially so we have our vesica now the vessel of the fish the vesica pisces is this fish shape here so you know just imagine the tail and the eye of the vessel of the fish now this or the ichthus was the original symbol of christianity and as we'll see, the cube also has uh, some strong connections to uh, Christian relig religious symbols. Uh, but first of all, we need to bisect. So we're going to create some 90 degree angles. Construction line across. And what we've now done is one, two, three, and four. So we've created a square. And the reason I did it at 45 degrees was so that this square would appear uh, parallel with the page. Now, uh, the square itself would be in here, but what, so, if you can imagine that's one edge length of the square here, but I'm going to extend this, these lines up because they're important to later constructions, and before I ruin the paper underneath, I'm also, as you can see, I'm going to Use a hard surface. I've already destroyed the table doing this, and so with a ballpoint or a hard uh, pencil, ballpoint's probably the best. Going to extend that out. Do the same again. So I have the square edge length here, but I'm going to extend that out, and I'll also do that running across. And just to, if you put your point on there and then you can get your ruler as accurate as you can. Straight edge technically, because we're not using the, the lines on the edge. So it's a straight edge, not a ruler or a marked edge. And there we have the basics of it. So we have one square and what we now need to do is set our compass to that edge length of the square. Mark it there. Out of it. And while I'm here, you can actually mark out another point. So we mark out that point too. And it's nice how you might notice how these join up. There's some nice math in there. And so I've already begun. So I have another square here and the beginnings of another square. So we go to the other corner. Mark, mark, mark and mark it. Now if you do it super, super accurate, you'll notice like how these intersection points are. There. 
Now, so we have one square, two, three, four, five, and we need one more, so. Okay, so now we have our point. So now it's just a matter of drawing it, connecting these up. Again, push firmly to help with the folds. Now I showed earlier the ichthys or the fish, 153 fishes, fishes of men, is a very strong connection to, especially with Christianity, uh, 153 other religions as well as, as the fish symbolism too, but uh, especially with uh, Christianity. Now, what we have now, and I'll just highlight these, is an unfolded cube. And those are the six faces that will make our cube. But, there you go, there's your next Christian symbol as well. So you see an unfolded cube, uh, even Dali, uh, Dali did some the cube symbolism and painting, uh, I think it was Christ cube, it was called. Now we also want to add some tabs there. And again, just right. now I'll show you how to do it uh, you know, in a more accurate way to begin with, and I'll just do the rest freehand. So, what we just need to do is find the centre of that of each one of these squares, which is by going across the diagonal. And if we were to put our compass point on the centre, now with. These we would have our tabs, so our little just bit, extra little bits of paper, so we can fold it around and glue it, or just sticky tape it, just to save time. Uh, now you could do that on all of them, but that's because it's not going to be shown, so it's not super necessary, not necessary at all. You know, it's they're, they're going to be hidden behind. But um, now to include those tabs and need one, two, okay. So on the long part of the T, we you know. You, And since this edge will touch that edge, that's not necessary, so we just need this one. I'll highlight these just to show which ones are the most necessary to put it together. that one so that's not uh, okay so there those those blue parts are what we need And there we have it. Uh, just as a reminder, the I should have folded it, folded it the other way, then you wouldn't see these uh, lines and marks on it. But also, you know, so you have your. as well, so the dodecahedron and the cube. 